First, regional cooperation must continue to underpin our efforts to confront the full spectrum of sustainable energy challenges, too great for any single country to tackle. Our region has some of the best low-cost technologies in areas such as solar, wind, energy storage, and energy efficiency. Innovation in energy will be the key deciding factor in achieving the sustainable energy revolution or energy transformation. Data is a key input to energy planning, policy formulation, and evaluation of SDG 7. It is truly precious commodity, which is why ESCAP established the Asia-Pacific Energy Data Portal to provide governments and energy stakeholders with detailed energy data, including on the SDG 7 indicators. We are working collaboratively with our member states to interconnect the region's power grids. This long-term endeavor will build on existing bilateral and sub-regional connectivity efforts to provide clean energy corridors across Asia and the Pacific. With the energy used in Abu Dhabi having more than double over the past decade and projected to increase by 1.4% each year until 2035 due to population raise and economic growth, we recognize the need to transition, transition our energy system toward a sustainable future and to enhance energy efficiency, rationalization con consumptions. Our approach is outlined clearly in the UAE Energy Strategy 2050. The UAE first unified energy strategy based on supply and demand. It was launched in 2017. The strategy aimed to increase the contribution of a clean energy on a total energy mix up to 50% by 2050 and reduce the carbon footprint power generation by 70% at that year. At the same time, increase the consumption efficiency by 40%. This year, we've launched Abu, Dhabi, Abu Dhabi's flagship company called Noor Abu Dhabi Solar PV Plant, one of the world's largest solar PV plant at a capacity of 1.177 megawatt installed capacity through a 3.2 million solar panel that have delivered about 3.6% of the whole nation energy uh, requirement. How do you balance uh, the, the need to deal with climate change with increasing energy demand. Uh, and I think that's one of the issues that's uh, uh, worth discussing uh, because uh, I think that that can create conflicts. I think we see it to some extent in Europe today. Last year just alone, that we have increased our rooftop solar uh, approved rate by three times. And what we see right now is this, is that companies, industry who put on rooftop solars, they found out that the capex expenditure and their electricity savings, their electricity savings is able to return of a payback period of three to five years after they installed this through their electricity savings, bill savings. That means, again, that solar power, uh, renewable energy, is not about saving the world anymore. It is about what the DG of Arena say. It is an affordable energy solution. UAE and Abu Dhabi have placed their name on the word of the lowest uh, ever solar panel production, where the land is heavily rich with oil and gas resources. Major international supplier of oil and gas, but that did not really prevent them from being an early adaptation of renewables. Uh, to improvement, I'm referring to non-fossil fuel energy consumption. Today, it accounts to about 14.5, non-fossil fuel. For primary energy, 
uh, that is 14.3 percent for secondary energy consumption it accounts for 25 percent so I believe that uh, these are um, very positive achievements in China's energy transition and that is very much thanks to the good work done by the government we have a responsibility to reduce carbon in everything we do and particularly in uh, methane emissions which are one of the things that bedevil our industry because we're perhaps not as honest as we should be about tackling fugitive emissions in the chain secondly biological and uh, carbon capture through geological measures is a crucial role we continue to have to play using the engineering skills of the industry to deliver that um, carbon pricing we have to get behind carbon pricing and work together on the basis that the polluter pays i mean if we have a fundamental agreement around carbon pricing on a global basis in whatever localized solutions we will move it forward yeah, a lot quicker. So one of the challenges about infrastructure financing is that you need to make sure the project is bankable. And energy projects can actually generate returns if you structure the project well, so that the project can pay for itself over a longer period. So Infrastructure Asia Office brings together ecosystem players from technology solution providers, infrastructure players, uh, multilateral development banks, people with the, with the financial means, as well as working with relevant government agencies to structure a project on the specific needs of a region to make sure that these bankable projects will bring infrastructure to the much needed region in a sustainable way. So something for our colleagues here and our friends here to consider.